Hello and welcome to the official map guide series. Ever wondered where to go on a map to help your team win? Well, here's how. Today, we'll be covering key and handy positions on Ensk in the standard battle mode. On this map, you'll find that the rails divide the entirety of the map sort of like this into two zones. The western one being the streets, corners, and also the squares of Ensk. Here, Vehicles with good combat abilities regarding side scraping and high alpha will fare well. On the other one, that is most commonly referred to as the green, you will find some hilly zones, some bushes to snipe from, but also some additional buildings. Light tanks, as well as other fast tanks and tanks with sturdy turrets are actually encouraged to head over to this part of the map, as here the combination of view range, pull down capabilities and mobility reigns supreme. If you happen to spawn from the north, the position behind this house here offers good cover for snipers because not only does it offer soft cover, i.e. bushes to hide behind, but also the house to retreat in case you get spotted. If you happen to spawn from the south, then you will find nice hold down positions all the way here on that zero line. Heavier vehicles will find themselves right at home in just about this part of the city, where immediate action is all but guaranteed to break out. Here, it's all about alpha damage, side scraping, and your own abilities to hit the weak spots of the enemies. If your team managed to pressure up tanks into the F line here, you should be watching out from enemy tanks trying to flank through the street on the one line. So, if your team doesn't have snipers in either B1 if you're from the north, or J1 if you're from the south, then that is something you should definitely watch out for. If you spawned in an SPG, or self-propelled gun, then at the start of the battle you should take a look at what your team is doing, because you should be following the majority of them. So that means that if you spawn from the north, almost the entirety of the A-line are possible firing positions, while if you spawn from the south, almost the entirety of the K-line is. If you spawned in the north, then additionally you will find very nice hold-on positions in these windows here in D4 and D5. From those you have very good sniping angles on crossing tanks here in the south. Also you will be able to provide spots here. If you happen to spawn from the south, then it might be very valuable if you take this route here directly behind the rail cars, because from there not only can you spot down how many enemies are crossing, but you can also shoot at them. For this though you either need exceptional camouflage values or good side scraping abilities. As said before, the rails in the middle of the map sort of slice it in half. So it's always wise to keep an eye on the minimap commanders, as if the other flank has collapsed, maybe it's good if you disengage, go back and defend your own cap circle. That should be all you need to know on ENDS commanders. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of future map guide videos. Roll out!